my channel. Today I am filming a very highly requested video which is what's in my hospital bag and also what's in my baby's hospital bag. Um, there are obviously some things that we can't pack until last minute but for the most part we're packed and ready to go. I'm 35 weeks and then a little bit and we're really excited. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I'm bringing. So this is my bag. It is from a cause box several seasons ago. Um, and I know that I probably overpacked a little bit, so don't come for me in the comments. If I forgot something, please let me know. Um, but I tried to be as minimal as I could. I am not the most minimal person in general, so. <laughs> I know everything that I've read says to only pack two bags, one for mom and then one for dad and baby. And baby stuff probably could fit in dad's bag, but we do have quite a bit of camera equipment um, just because we were going to try to have like a birth photographer or videographer with us and because of everything going on we probably won't be able to so we do have a bit of extra camera equipment so we are bringing my bag matt will have just a backpack with his stuff in it and then we're also bringing our diaper bag i get a lot of questions about this diaper bag and i got it for my baby shower and i'm so in love with it it's from the brand azaria I think is how you pronounce it and it's called the La Mer in saddle I believe is the color or cognac. I'll put it in the description. So going with my bag first, the very first thing that we have on top here is our birth plan. Um, Matt has a copy of this as well and we'll obviously have one for our doctor slash the hospital um, which actually will probably be this one that we end up giving them. And it's just got kind of our preferences for the labor room and um, positions and pain management and pushing and all of that so we've got that all typed up and ready to go first thing I have this bag in here it is currently empty because I am going to put my makeup in this I am gonna bring a little bit of makeup to the hospital just for pictures and stuff um, but I'm still obviously gonna be using all of my makeup over the next five weeks so I will pack that like when it's go time. Then we have this bag here, which is my toiletries bag. Um, the bag itself is from like an old Zoella Beauty collection. And I've got deodorant. I do use men's deodorant. I think it's better. I've got a toothbrush, little mini toothpaste. These are hair ties and a scrunchie, a hairbrush, comb, and then little nail file, mostly for baby's nails if he needs it. And then the rest of this in here is all skincare. So I have a little packet of makeup remover wipes. I have a mini Glossier cleanser. I have a moisturizer in here. This is just a super old one I had sitting in my... Um, bathroom like drawer so if I have time and the presence of mind when it's actually time I'll switch this out with my like daily moisturizer that I use but if not at least I have something. I have an eye cream, I have some like pregnancy skincare products so this is cream for my belly and this is a cream for my boobs. They're both from Mama Mio and I've really been loving that brand since I got pregnant. And then I have a little mini head and shoulder shampoo. I'm sure the hospital will have like shampoo and stuff, but I had it anyway, so I thought I might as well pack it. And that all miraculously fits into this little pouch. Then the next thing we have in here is camera equipment. So I have my vlog camera, um, and then we have my big camera for taking all of his hospital pictures. Um, with we have uh, clean SD cards and fully charged batteries in both of these then I have a little mini tripod so we can set it up for like when I'm pushing so that Matt's focused on that and not on vlogging um, and then we have extra batteries and extra chargers for both of those so that's kind of why we're bringing an extra bag. I have a pair of shower shoes in here. These were like $3 at Target. I'll link everything that I can in the description in case you're curious. I also ordered a pair of fuzzy pink like crisscross slippers, but they don't arrive until Wednesday. So I'll be putting those in there eventually as well. Then I did use packing cubes just because I wanted to try to stay organized and it's easier. Um, so in here I have my hospital robe. This was a splurge. This was not cheap. It's from Milk Made Goods but I saw it and I absolutely fell in love with it because I have been obsessed with strawberries throughout this entire pregnancy. I feel like that's been my number one most consistent craving. I've probably eaten like 20 or 25 pounds of strawberries. Um, and this little robe from Milkmaid Goods has little strawberries on it, it's so cute. 
and it's also really really soft then I have a pair of pajamas in here these are really old from Target I did um, grab like tank top ones so I can just pull it down if I need to for nursing and then I have a dress in here I am bringing a dress as my coming home outfit um, because I just feel like that's gonna be the most comfortable everything that I've read has said like pick things that are loose down there and I thought what's looser than a dress and I'll have you know the hospital granny panties and pad and everything so I won't have to hopefully worry about too much leakage so those are all the clothes I'm bringing for myself I guess technically this could count as clothing this is like my undergarments bag so I have a nursing bra in here it's just a really pretty blush color I got it off of Amazon again I'll link it down below I have a bunch of pairs actually three I don't know if it's a bunch or not um, of like seamless granny panties from Target. Two pairs of fuzzy socks. And then I have this from Medela. It's a postpartum support belt. Um, and you put it on your midsection after delivery and it's supposed to help your uterus um, like shrink back down more effectively. So I have one of those. I like just packed this and I'm unpacking all of it. Then the last thing I have in my bag is kind of my like postpartum care kit um it's not everything in my postpartum care kit because i know the hospital will give me all of the like medication and pain relief stuff so like dermaplast and tux pads and all of that so i didn't pack any of that but i did pack my own peri bottle i got the frida mom one because it has the tip that like um has an angle and i've heard that's a lot easier to use than the one that the hospital gives you i packed one pair of uh reusable nursing pads in case we have some leakage going on i brought my haka um breast pump it's not actually haka brand it's bumblebee um but i've heard that this can be helpful in like kind of speeding up the labor process um so i brought that just in case good old nipple cream lanolin and a bunch of pads just in case i don't like what I get at the hospital. Again, probably overpacking, but I would rather be overprepared than underprepared for sure. <laughs> so I have a list here of all the things that we're gonna grab like last minute. Um, so I'm also gonna need to put in there my ID and insurance info, uh, our Bluetooth speaker so that we can play music in the delivery room, um, makeup, the slippers actually won't be last minute. It'll be whenever they get here from Amazon. And then some things I'm like kind of back and forth on of whether I should bring my own or just use the hospitals are my own pillow, um, my exercise ball. And then I've also heard about like bringing a diffuser and essential oils. And I think that would be really cool. But again, I don't want to bring too much. So I'm not sure if I'll actually pack that or not. We'll see how I'm feeling when the moment comes. <laughs> then baby's hospital bag in the front pocket here has our um, car seat cover I don't think we'll cover the car seat taking him home but it was already in the diaper bag just because that's where it's gonna live so I didn't take it out our hospital told us to bring two swaddles and two outfits which seems like a lot to me um, but they said the baby is likely to like pee or poop <laughs> on one of them so we should have a backup so I have this swaddle from pear we got this on our baby moon in Hawaii and I think it's so cute but the one that I actually want to use for all of his like announcement pictures and stuff is this one from Riley and Crew. Got little rainbow suns on it. It's so cute. Then I have his changing pad in here. Again, this was just something that was already living in the diaper bag that I didn't want to like take out. Um, it's from the brand Gather and it has this cute little neutral rainbow on it, which I'm obsessed with. Then here is his little clothing bag. I'll show you his coming home outfit options. I did pack a few newborn diapers, a few little pairs of socks and one pair of anti-scratch mittens which we took a childcare class online the other day and they were telling us to not use these because it limits like their like tactile like that's how they interact with the world so we might not end up using these at all but i did bring them just in case so if it's warm his little coming home outfit will be this little onesie it's just a white gerber onesie and then i ironed on the little baby bird letters and then these stinking tiny little gauze shorts which are from H&M and then this little hat from Maybe Baby so this is option number one or if it's a little cooler or even if we uh, just don't want to mess with the umbilical clamp um, with a onesie I brought these pajamas from Solly Baby they are long sleeve they're the oat dot ones they're so cute matching pants for those and then this little hat which is actually from Kite Baby, but the colors match perfectly. So that is option number two. Also in here, again, just in case, I have some wipes. 
I have some diaper rash ointment and I have this little tube of baby lotion in case he comes out with really dry skin and we need to like put some on his little fingers and toes for cute little pictures. And then the last thing in here, speaking of fingers and toes, is this um, foot slash handprint kit. Um, I wanted to just do um, some footprints and handprints in the hospital so we can put them in his baby book. And these are the clean touch ones so they don't actually get any ink. Um, on the baby's hand or foot. It's like on the bottom of the pad and then they press it in and it just transfers um, So I have that in here as well. So that's it for everything that's in my hospital bag I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you're also preparing um, For delivery and for bringing your sweet little baby home Congrats if that's you. Please let me know in the comments down below if I missed anything um, Obviously, this is my first time doing this so I'm not entirely sure about what to bring, but this is kind of the guidelines that our hospital gave us and what our birth class instructor said. So I love you guys lots. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you all in my next video.